Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Lab. So back to our SQL join series and today we are going to talk about what is a right outer join and right join. In the previous video, we have seen what is a left outer join or left join. So for example, let's see if you have uh, two tables over here, table a left and table right, right? So I simply say this is my left table, this is my right table. Now in this particular left and right table, what I want, I want to get the data from this particular section and from the right table. I don't want to get the data from here so that I want to exclude that. So this is what the right table as well as this intersection part, the common part that I want to take it. So this is called a right join. So we have to do a right join over here. A very simple example I'll tell you. For example, let's see I have a, a two tables and having uh, two columns over here. So let's see, this is my table number one and this is my table number two. Having two columns in each table. So let's see, this is column number one, column two. This is, let's see, column three and column four. And then I'm having, let's see, some numbers one, two, three and four. Then I'm having, let's see, A, then B, then C and D. And then I'm having, let's see, uh, two, then three, then four and five. And then here I'm having uh, something like this E, then F, then G and then H. Fine. So these two tables are available. I would say table T1 and this is table T2. So what you see, if you design a Venn diagram over here, so this is a T1 table and this is a T2 table. So in uh, left table and the right table, in left table what we have? And what are the first of all, let's see, we have one, two, three, four, which is available. But if you compare with a C1 and a C3 column like this, right? So if I write a condition, if where C1 is equal to a C3. So in this case, you can see that, okay, this two, three, and four, two, three, and four. These are the column common things. So I simply write it over here, two, three, and four. These are the common in both the tables. And then one is available over here and uh, five is available over here, right? And five is having uh, the next data is H and one is having the next column data is A and the two is having what? Here two is having B, C is having, uh, uh, three is having C, four is having D and at the same time two is having E, E is having uh, F over here and this is having G over here. So when you combine this, these two tables, right? And then when you try to get, apply a right outer join, a right join, what will you get? So you will get all the values which are available, all the elements or all the rows which are available in the right table. Along with that, what are the diff uh, common elements or common rows are available between left table and the right table, this. So you will get this area, right? And you will get the complete this particular area as well, like this. Right. So what will you get at the result? So in the result, what will you get? So I simply draw a result table over here, for example. So let's see, I want a two, three column over here. For example, let's see, uh, give me uh, C2 and uh, C4. And let's see from here, you just give me, uh, let's see, at first I'll write C3 and C4 and then just uh, give me C2 over here as well. Right. So first of all, from the right table, what will you get? Two, three, four, five. So I'll simply write two, three, four, five, I'll be getting. And for uh, two, three, four, five, we will be getting E, F, G, H. So you are having E, F, G, and uh, this is matched over here. And for five, we will be getting H over here. And from the C2 is actually coming from table number T1. So what exactly we will be getting here? We will be getting only two, three, four guys. So for two, we will be getting B and then we will be getting C and then we will be getting D. But for C3, five, fifth value, we don't have any, see for fifth value, we don't have any five over here, right guys? So in this case, we will be getting null here. Simple, that's it. So this is right outer join. When you combine, you will get this result. But let's see more practical example over here. So the practical example I'll show you, first of all, that uh, the last example also, we have already uh, created two tables over here. One is the customer table. In customer table, Naveen, Tom, Lisa is available. 
and in the loan table three columns are available sorry three columns and three rows are available l1 l2 l3 like that so this is a common uh, column loan number is also available in customer and loan both l1 l2 l4 so when you design a, a c event diagram or you design a table over here right so let's design it over here so i have see this carefully and when you first always design the table and the Venn diagram and easily automatically you can solve the problem. For example, let's see, I have two tables. So what exactly we want, we can see simply go to the customer table once and it's having customer name and the loan number. So let's see only two columns are available, which is like customer name. And uh, I would say loan number. So I'll write customer name and the loan number. Right. So these two tables are available, customer and the loan. And in customer name, I have a Naveen, Tom, Lisa. So I quickly write Naveen, L1, L2, and L4, like this, perfect. And then I'll go to the loan table. In loan table, I have three columns. So quickly create three columns over here, right? And loan number, I'll be simple writing over here. Let's see, this is L1, L2, and L3 as per the uh, table, Pune, Mumbai, and Bangalore. So I simple write, this is Pune, and then 1K, 2000 and 3000 amount is available and then you want to combine this particular table with the outer join with which one right outer join right join so what will be the result you will be getting it okay and then we will write the query as well so as a result what i want i want first of all from the loan table this is my right table and this is my left table so from the loan table, I want all three columns, right guys? So let's see, uh, I have loan number, then I have branch, and then I have amount as well, right? So if you see this, and on the basis of I'll compare, this loan number is equal to this loan number, right guys? They both are equal to equal to with this. So if the loan number, they match L1, L2 matched, L1 and L2 match over here, so immediately I'll write L1 and L2, but I want to get all the data from right table according to this diagram. See, all the data from right table also we have to get it. So that's why I simply say that give me L3 as well. And then I quickly write for L1, L2, L3, we have Pune, then we have Mumbai, and then we have Bangalore. Okay, then amount is 1K, or 2K, and 3K is available over here. And then from this particular column, from this particular table, we need only customer name. Then for L1, who has the customer name with L1 loan number, Naveen, L2, Tom. Do you have any a customer with L3 loan number here? No, we don't have, we have L4. So for L3, what will you get over here? For L3, we don't have any a matching row available in customer table available in left table so in this case we will be getting null over here so remember this thing this l1 l2 l3 is compulsory to get from the right table from the loan table right because this that's why this is called right join so l1 l2 l3 you will be getting it along with that you will be getting common values also these are the common values and their respective uh, rows will be matched and then in the result table you will be getting this particular result after that perfect so how will you write a query for that query will be very simple so the query syntax you have to use uh, a right outer join concept so i simple write select whatever let's see i want l dot loan number comma l dot branch comma l dot amount comma and then c dot customer name I want because customer name is coming from the customer table from which table I simply say from customer and analyze a C and I simply say write outer join is the cl uh, clause I'll be writing on which table so write outer join with loan table loan L over here and then I'll be writing on and then I'll put a condition that C dot this one, C, C dot loan number is equal to equal to L dot loan number. So C dot loan number, which is equal to equal to L dot 
loan number and this will be the query for right outer join right so i quickly write this query and uh, i simple come over here so go to the query section simple see i'll already written this query see this query select l dot loan number branch amount so these three are coming from from the loan c dot customer name customer c right outer join with loan on c dot loan number is equal to l dot loan number and whatever that uh, we have created over here we should get the exactly same result so let's run it and let's see so let's see l1 l2 l3 perfect l1 l2 l3 they are already available you can see l1 l2 l3 available in the right table from the loan table we are getting it pune mumbai branch pune mumbai bangalore 1000 2000 3000 naveen and tom we are getting but for l3 we did not find anyone see for l3 loan number we don't know did not have any customer name so for l3 customer name will be null over here so that's why for l3 customer name is null so this is the result of left sorry uh, this is the result of right join or right outer join i hope it's clear now right guys so that's all for this particular video in the next video i'll tell you full outer join also thank you so much thanks for watching Naveen automation labs please subscribe to the channel guys if you're liking this content and let me know if you have any issues i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all